Thank you for clicking on the video. What is up, gamers? Treasure room to our right. Triple shot to start off. That's pretty good. We got a new character today, and this character is potentially the hardest of them all. Oh, he's so cute, though. I'll be real. He was very happy to get triple shot right there. So this character starts with very, very simple things. Kane statistics and no invulnerability frames. This means you get tagged by a brimstone for like one second. You're actually dead. There goes all of your hearts. It's over. You touch an enemy for half a second. Oh, there goes six hearts. Even worse when it's on the womb. So I really wanted to try the character out. It's going to be really tough, but I wanted to see how far we could get and see if we could finish a run. Now for things like bullets, they don't matter as much since bullets are always a one hit. So if I get hit by these guys, I don't really care too much. But if I take contact damage, let's say a globin gets all up in my face, then yeah, I will be taking a mass amount of damage. Contact damage, creep, brimstone, these are all things I gotta look out for unless I want my run to instantaneously game over. It is nice that they start with a tiny bit of a damage up though, as well as speed, uh, making this way easier. Reverse judgment, or I mean, I could just, I could get a reverse judgment. Let's go find a secret room item. <laughs> That's uh, that's the sprite, by the way. It's just Jeff. We're gonna fight this reverse emperor card really quickly. Just Mega Ma, should be easy. Oh! Okay, we're fine. And then we can maybe bust ourselves up with some statistics. You know how it is. God damn. Oh my god. Every single hit is 10 times scarier as this character. Knowing that I could die at any instant is not very fun. But I'll take the tears up. Good stuff. Reverse judgment comes with us. Let's fight this other boss. This boss will literally be easier. Especially because it's just Monstro. But I don't think I'll be going to downpour. I like switching back and forth depending on the day. And today is not an easy day. Today is a hard day. So I'll be taking my leave onwards to Burning Basement. I'm a assuming burning basement because I always get burning basement. I'll take a cellar. If you're really nice, I'll take a basement too. Old bandage, even though it seems useless because I insta-die, is not. You know, it can help. Oh, we do get basement too. Nice. Can't handle any of these, so I'll just take the free treasure room. A little haunt is very mid, but it's an extra thing to help, so I'll take it. We should be sitting at 3 HP. Is that enough to justify a devil deal? I don't think so. I'm actually gonna go angel deals. This could be a bad risk, because with such a hard character, you probably want buffs to your character as soon as possible to make the future floors way easier. Ooh, Boneheart, I'll take that. But I'm feeling confident in my play right now. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna take Stein and leave. Ow, my face. It's flooded caves. Today is a good day. We get to listen to the best song ever. And Super Envy might even drop a, uh, what, what, what does Super Envy drop again? A uh, drum roll, please. Uh, oh, man. All right, well, bye. You gotta know how to do this room if you want to survive. <laughs> If you do not know how to handle this room, you will die, especially as Jeff. Here's how you do it. Uh, you want to walk in and out to reset the- God damn it. Isaac actually makes up its own comedic timing. The jokes write themselves. I don't actually have to do anything. <laughs> Back at it again at the Binding of Isaac. Anyway, we come down here and basically you want to refresh the room. What? <laughs> By walking in and out. There you go. And when you do it, the grimaces will always be on a specific timer, and then you want to go in and then out, exactly like this. And you can do the same thing from uh, coming from the right. It's a bit harder, but not too bad. Treasure room, finally! Hello, magic fingers. Sorry, I was stalling. I was being educational and all that. You know how it is. Scared to go curse rooms, but I'll bomb in if possible. No, that's not the case. Oh, there goes a bone heart. But again, it's only a basic instance of damage. So having only one invuln frame is not bad. Or I guess not even one invuln frame. I'm literally not invuln whatsoever. But it's still okay. It was just a bullet. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can find a red heart. Because if I can, that'll turn into a soul heart. We, lo ah! we lost our bone heart. That's fine. Didn't actually lose deal chance for it. Oh my god, I almost did though. Number one thing as this character, I feel, is just don't take contact damage. Anything else. That, who cares? Take a bullet to the face, lose your deal chance, who cares? But do not take contact damage. I haven't seen what it's like to lose 12 hearts instantly, but I imagine it's not good. Oh, was this my secret room above it? I could have never guessed it. I, I still haven't. I'm going a, I'm to a let Lil Han take care of this one. <laughs> yeah, what a homie. I appreciate it. Hollow Heart is also good. Big Horn is a big loser. And my reward is a simple speed up. I'll take it. Guys, I've never done that in my life. That was terrifying. I didn't know you could walk on the grimaces. That was complete accident. <laughs> Unfortunately, all there was to explore was this one big room with a nickel. I have no bombs for secret room. So uh, let's just go. We have a better deal chance, we can increase it to about 72%. And I'm waiting for this angel deal, it's been a hot minute already. I'm banking everything on this being halfway decent. Hollow Heart also gave us a bit of a red heart container. 
or I suppose a bone heart container, which is even better for us. Because again, you know, it may seem like stacking HP is useless, but it, it still can really matter. I haven't been taking full on blast my ass damage just yet, but it can happen. We need to be prepared for that scenario. I can also blow up that beggar if I get a bomb and basically guarantee myself a deal, which I'll probably do. I could go for secret room into keeper play, but that requires two bombs and a little bit of luck on guessing where it is. So let's just go for the guarantee right now. I mean, 85% deal chance. It's just nothing you scoff at. I wonder... I, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna test that later. <laughs> I, I was very curious, morbidly curious, and then I touched it once and saw that Jeff did not flash at all, and I figured what I was assuming was correct. If you touch the blood bank, you will instantly die. So let's avoid that scenario. Actually, a halfway decent amount of money this time. We go in here for BBF. I'll take this. The extra damage can be good. Explosion damage is only one instance of damage. So I'm not exactly afraid of dying to this bomb fly. And then I'm gonna make it even bigger. <laughs> We're gonna take the BBF and then upgrade it with the BFF. Little Haunt also getting a sizable upgrade. My man is cronked out of his mind. He's been hitting the gym like crazy. All leg day too, respectable my guy. Look at you. This is the worst experience. Imagine I walk into one of these spikes and I just, oh, this is just not worth the risk. <laughs> and then what? I just instantly die because I take a more billion spike damage. I am not okay. What, what the hell are you doing over there? <laughs> what is that room? He was so lonely. Someone go help him. All right, we cleared out this floor a lot easier. No bombs for secret room still. So I'm beginning to think this reverse judgment play might just go to the angel room. I'm guaranteed right now if I, I really need something. But again, no bombs. So I feel like it's not even worth it because I can't even roll the key piece that I might get. That I, I, I can't even get, sorry. I truly think the best course of action is just continue to hold off on this reverse judgment. There will be a better time to use it instead of getting greedy right now. BBF plus the BFF, it did go nasty. Uh, damage up and surprisingly no angel, which is arguably better in this scenario uh, for the exact reason that I just mentioned. So you know what? Hey, I'll take the guarantee on this next floor. This is all assuming I don't have a spider run up my ass and then I uh, instantly die. Never really a fan of that one. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. Let's convert all of you guys, just kidding, all of you guys into bombs. We now finally have bombs so I can find secret rooms and do more things. But I, I, at this point, I truly think I might like the idea of committing my reverse judgment on the angel room than a secret room. And it's not just a secret room, I need to find a secret room with an item. Which could be RNG, you know, it's not the hardest thing on the earth. You can find a beggar. But we always reverse judgment secret rooms and it's just a free win every single time. So let's do something a bit different and go for angels instead. Oh, that poor spider. <laughs> He was in for a world of hurt. Okay, there you go. There's an instance. That was very scary. I think I took two. Oh, okay. I took two hits of damage there. One from Explosion and one from the Grimace Tears. This is the most linear map I've seen. So immediately we are actually looking pretty dire. Make sure not to die. Is there anything in here? Not really. I think we just fight. Let's go fight and let's just spawn this angel. Now adversary is scary to be fair because that Brimstone will actually instantly kill me if I get hit but solo adversary is easy to dodge. Where I'm scared of is Shoal when there's multiple brimstones. We don't have to worry about that though right now. Cross that bridge when we get to it. Jesus Juice is good. Book of Revs is also good, and we will be taking that. Health regen is going to be essential. We can trade out the magic fingers and roll this as well. Let's use this, and I I'm going to commit. I, I can't help it. I have to know. Um, Bookworm progress. This is 2-3, actually. Very good. Come on. Those are so strong. I cannot not take them. I have to. Way too good. General items, even like Holy Light and Blood of the Martyr, way too powerful of items just to pass up. I feel like if I kept rerolling, I would have turned into Lazarus's rags, and you know, yeah, I guess that's the item I kind of need right now, but it defeats the purpose. This, this is more like my speed. Ooh, Book of Revs again as well. Yeah, I have a feeling that that Angel Room might be the game changer we needed, giving us that final extra boost of uh, health regen and damage that I really feel like was necessary to put me over the edge, and now I feel very comfortable exploring the depths. I don't I don't feel like I'm on edge 24-7. This is the stupidest idea I'm leaving. <laughs> I am not risking that. The the three cents or even six cents uh, is just not worth it. Not worth an instant death, but the treasure room gives me splitting shots. It's not Cricket's body, but it's close enough. That is beautiful. We've landed some really good tier effects on this floor. I feel like this is the floor that really changes everything. 
Ah, careful. Again, BBF is just only one instance of damage there. Not too scared. How would sacrifice rooms work? <laughs> would you just play all like 11 times immediately if you stood over it? That's that's actually interesting. I kind of want to know. Did I blow you up? I didn't. And we get 9 volt. Ah, yeah, it's, it's okay. It's good. It's good. Kind of don't want to find the secret room on this floor. I will. Don't get me wrong, but I, I kind of don't want to. I'm scared that there's an item in here and I'm going to look like a bozo. Oh, God. For using reverse judgment early. Here it comes. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Even if there's a secret room item in the future, I feel very good about this. If, if a steam sale spawned right there, though, I, I would have wanted to die. <laughs> All right, Dank Depths 2. Dank Depths is scary. We have lumps here that can telefrag you immediately. Uh, not really typically, they fixed that in the past, but they can still happen, you guys have seen. Maybe not a telefrag, but they'll TP right next to you. Contact damage into Jeff explodes, not a good time. We can use stars right away, I suppose. Fruitcake, this, this is instant death, I'm doing it. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> instant death in a can, my favorite. Ooh, another- Oh, you're kidding me. I can't believe it. It was actually the right decision. Could you believe it? I know there's a bunch of people out there coping right now. Actually cry about it. Two reverse judgments, random spawns on the same run. That is very rare. And for the specific scenario that I had where I didn't know what I wanted to do, and it works out perfectly for me, yeah, that's right. That's beautiful stuff. We can use Book of Revs very freely here. We will not be spawning any form of war as we are forced to fight mom so we can just go crazy with that and maximize our health whoa there's an instance right there contact damage i actually took two hits right away back to back you imagine that on the woo every hit is guaranteed to be a full heart i get hit for four frames by contact damage well there you go there's four hearts gone it's never going to be easy as this character it seems like things are calming down but things are only ramping up especially the moment i get to the next floor Speed down. Amnesia. Kind of unfortunate, not the worst. Damn, he kind of got clobbered, I'm not gonna lie. This is a small nitpick. A very tiny one, and it really won't matter. Sometimes when I see people play Isaac, they'll get like a penny trinket. And it'll, it'll go on the floor and there's a bunch of coins on the ground. And what they'll do is they'll pick up the trinket, and then they'll wait for the Isaac animation for him to put it back down. And then they'll pick up all the coins, thinking that, you know, the animation needs to finish for that coin drop proc effect can happen. And that's not the case. This is not a knock on anyone. This is just so that I can save people some time. Just know that when you have like a penny trinket or anything like that, you can pick it up. And while Isaac is doing the pickup animation, you can pick up the coins and the effect can still spawn. There's no reason to wait. And I know that seems like such a small thing, but these things really add up. Sometimes you really want to go for boss rush and hush, and those few extra seconds can really matter. You guys have seen it. So hopefully that helps you out just a tiny bit. Don't want to stand in that brimstone that is actually instant death. I don't think we found the treasure room just yet though, so hold on. Oh, never mind. Alzheimer's moment. Okay, let's go fight mom. Dude, imagine how cracked I would be if I had, like, full brain capacity. <laughs> Nothing could stand in my way. Hello, mom. Yeah, I'm sorry. Your son's gone. I'm actually just a sign on the ground. Cool stuff. We get negative Polaroid. I feel like this character is a Polaroid type of character. Let's go up. Better deal chance. Uh, it's at this point that I'm really going to start trying my best to farm secret rooms. We have another reverse judgment. Another moment of glory. Not here. And I won't be using Book of Rubs just yet because I don't want to fight death. Even though an orbital would be good. Uh, I don't know. It's just more fun to not get orbitals in my opinion. But if it comes down to it, I might just uh, reverse judgment another deal because it worked last time and it was fun. This will be bookworm confirmed unless it's that really rare card room, but it's not. I didn't need to use all my keys here, but yeah, whatever. Not a big deal. I have enough keys. Who cares? All right. Well, I kind of care about that one. That, that one actually kind of bothered me. <laughs> Uh, let me take this book of revs and leave. There's not a lot of things that'll bother me. I'm, I'm pretty casual about Isaac these days, but that, that one was like, okay, you're actually a little bit of a bozo. <laughs> uh, range up, HP down. A little bit scary. I don't like that experimental build. Dude! Use it. I don't care. Let's fight death. I need it. I, I actually need it. And then the super secret room here. Uh, very good. I was so scared because I just realized those are the really bad four-way brimstone dudes. I could have died. That would have actually been it. And I can't be like, oh, I'll take the explosion damage and invuln frames my way through the brimstone. That's not a thing. I can't do that. Cube of meat and Eden's soul. Okay, there's literally three pedestals here. You know what we have to do. We got 33 cents. Let's commit. Today is a reverse judgment angel room type of day. And it will pay out. I'm sure of it. He made me fight Red Angel twice. 
What the hell's wrong with you? Angel Revelation Brimstone also falls under the category of do not get hit under any circumstances. Uh, these are all okay. That's fine. Oh! However, I'll take a revelation of my own. Fight as well, some heart sacred orb. Nice. Sacred orb into more rerolls, which will just give me sacred heart at this point. Ah, uh, close. Very close. I got sacred heart. But a very, very, very good reverse judgment. So satisfied with that. Could not be happier. So I got tagged a couple times there. I'm curious what my health is looking like. It's so fine, dude. We're chilling. We are actually chilling. We spent two keys and got two keys back. Nothing but the best for today's run. Oh, wow, I can fight Hush. I'm gonna do it. I, I actually will. I think being able to fight Hush as Jeff, this absurdly hard character, would be a really sick scenario for me. Sometimes you need to build a little bit of self-confidence, okay? Just so that you can uh, break it down later on, 30 seconds from now, and then you learn from that mistake. That's called character development. We all go through it. Don't worry. Everyone's egos get checked every now and then. Uh-oh. I think I'm going the right way for the boss. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> Once again, the womb has bested me. Secret. Oh, well, it's not an item, so I don't feel bad. Hey, luck up too. That's gonna be useful for our holy light. Should I test it now that I have more HP? I mean, I feel like I have a lot of HP. I could probably... Okay, all right, all right, all right. There you go. There's, there's, that's how we know. So the reason I felt like that was gonna be okay is because uh, entering is not gonna deal damage to me. It's only exiting. And we can confirm that I guess it may be speed-based than anything. Maybe depending on your speed, you're able to enter there as soon as possible, faster than usual, or slower than usual. But with 1.50 speed, you are able to exit a curse room with two hits of damage. So entering would probably be another two hits, and that's with my speed. Maybe, you know, you're slower, you take even more damage. So I think if I did that on the caves, I would have been in a bad position, so I'm glad I didn't. But it's good that we tested. Luck up there is nice. The pheromones, nothing else too useful. We can start getting back our HP. This is a weird looking map. I'm not even gonna lie. It looks like a what what does it look like? It looks like an S. Like straight up. It looks like a dollar sign to me. <laughs> oh we got a lives! Hello! Revelation is working with our tier effects too, so we are going kind of crazy with the damage. Shout out to Little Haunt. I will not forget you. You are definitely the MVP of today. Alright! Hush. Never really made sense to me why this floor is called question mark, question mark, question mark. I mean, I get it. It's blue baby, but I don't know. It, it bothers me that it's not called an actual thing. Treasure room though. Hey, we were just talking about you. It's poetic. Yeah. I mean, I'm following the script pretty head. Oh! I was making a joke about the script, but I can't even joke about that. That's C-section. That's sick. Oh my God. Such good items too. We got to take you. We got to take you. I don't want to take any more because I have money equals power. Ah, uh, uh, sure. I'll get a little bit of stats. The stats up from balls are always a bit more than money equals power. And we can get money back. But we can't get the opportunity to buy more stuff in the future. So I say we buy and then get more money. Like right now, how we're doing. Grabbing C-section with revelation will be absolutely absurd. The main reason being is that I have splitting shots. And C-section splitting shots is a tale as old as time. About as old as repentance. Uh, the second patch that came out. Because that's when revelation actually came out. <laughs> Oh wait, I mean C-section! And we will be performing melting damage with all the money on Earth. Aren't you glad I spent it on the shop? What's going on here? That was actually satisfying. We'll take the world card on the next floor too. I may have just locked in, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like we have really hit the jackpot here. That sacred orb, I'm so certain, is the reason I got that C-section. And it's going to be so useful later on as well. I have a feeling we may just be in the clear. It would have to be absolutely disastrous for us to die. But again, not impossible. That's the thing I love about this character. The design is actually really cool for someone who wants a harder character. Because the thing about Isaac for me is, you know, when you're overpowered, you are you're like, you're done. Let's be real. You're, you're like, you're done. That's part of the fun. Don't get me wrong. But sometimes it feels good to know that no matter how powerful you are, you can just instantly die. Like, oh, that, you're done. Sorry. You know, like Risk of Rain 2 or like a nuclear throne type beat. Sometimes you just explode and die. Now, granted, my favorite thing about Isaac, to be honest with you, is the fact that when you're overpowered, you don't die. But, you know, to play devil's advocate, I truly love that about Isaac. It's just nice to have a modded option a modded character that can have this kind of uh, death scenario but having this character available really fits that one niche that i feel like was missing we can use the emperor and just, just skip it all skip all the baloney how about we check secret room and just do that real quick oh hi i don't really care about you don't spawn anything i'd feel terrible nice okay i i definitely feel like reverse judgment in the angel room was just the way to play this i i actually have no regrets anymore
And we one-cycled Isaac without me even trying. Those C-sections went nuts. Let's go. All right, we're gonna close out here very strong. Sacred Orb with four chests. This could be huge. One, two, three, I don't have keys. Uh, Cancer's really good. Probably one of the best items I can think of for this character. That and Wafer. You take one hit of damage and every frame you're taking half a heart, not a full heart. That's actually huge. You literally double your health by doing that. And as this character, that seems very essential. I'm taking it, whatever. You think I'll stop because I'm playing a dangerous character? You think I won't indulge in a little bit of bombage from Dr. Fetus? You're wrong. In fact, give me this double golden bomb. I can't believe that spawned. <laughs> Oh my god! Maybe it was a bad decision, but I'm still doing it, whatever. Let's just keep going. We got a secret room here. Uh, that's good. That could be useful. That could be my saving grace. Also looking for any form of keys, because I, I spent way too many on the hush floor, if I'm being real. There you go. Now we can open those two chests. Bonk, bonk, gimpy, and technology is a big one. I also feel like that might be the way to the boss, so I'm gonna explore everywhere else first. Or maybe I'll just go fight the boss. Boom, tractor beam. Tear right up, thank you. Raw, raw, raw. There's that satisfying Gertie Jr. sound I like so much. I don't know what that guy was doing. <laughs> that baby was wild and out, having the time of their lives. Oh, this might be the way to the boss, actually. This is looking a lot more like a further reaching map. Uh, Bozo! You already know how it is. My favorite item. Most relatable item in the Binding of Isaac. Oh, there's the boss. I feel confident. Let's go full clear. Reverse strength. Would you believe it if it said reverse judgment? I wouldn't. I, I would have actually been like, no, it's over. I should have died there, I think. I think Widow's hitbox was actually just a bit above me. If I held W and walked upwards there into Widow, I think I actually would have died. Maybe my flies would have killed early enough, but that was probably the closest I've been to death this entire time. Again, never a dull moment with this character, and I, I truly appreciate that. That being said though, I defeated you, and I get an Eden's Blessing, I'll totally check what I'm getting. Let's take care of Blue Baby in about one shot, two shot, three shot, gone. No delirium. But we're not done, hold on, hold on. I am just very morbidly curious, just, just one second, just indulge me real quickly. Okay, pencil, good to know, it's stuck in your eye. GG's!